Hello again. What you are looking at now is my 2D drawing and solid model in paper space. The first thing I'll do is erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now, however, I'll split the screen in model space into two viewports so that there will be room to redraw the 2D and solid model. I created the two viewports so that you can see both drawings and better understand the 2D part that I'm going to draw. Also know that all dimensions will be in inches. Now I'll create the 2D drawing. I'm going to start with the line command, pick a point, and move the mouse down and type 1.25. Move to the right, type 2. Move up, type 1. And to the left, type 1.25 up 0.25 and C to close. Now I'm going to create a circle using two points. One point at that intersection, another point at that over there. Then I'll move the circle to the right and add center line to it. I'll copy this line and move it over. And using the offset command, I'll move that line to the left and that one to the right. And then extend to that horizontal line these two vertical lines. And using the circle as a cutting edge, I'm going to trim from the circle the unnecessary ends of lines. And now offset this vertical line 0.5 to the left and draw a line from that intersection over there. Zero, I'll clean up this intersection and also I'll trim from that line Going in a clockwise direction, I'm going to break the circle in several points. And then I'm going to extend so that the circles go back and touch these lines. going to extend to the vertical line, uh, horizontal, vertical, that, like so. And I'll move the top section up a little bit. And with the line command, I'll complete the other two sections. Now using a polyline edit command, PE enter, I'll make that a polyline and then I'll join it all so it becomes one continuous polyline. Actually, you can see when I hover over these very these three sections, they're all one continuous polyline. That's the way they'll be extruded. The detailed drawing in 2D is now complete except for dimensions. Using the drawings just completed, I'll create the solid model, but first I'll create a new layer, call it solid, make it red, and make it current.
and now I'll put the newly drawn parts on layer solid so they should turn red. At this point we're going to extrude the top segment a distance of minus 1 point of uh, minus 1.25 and we're going to extrude the two side segments a distance of minus 0.5 and also the circle on the left will extrude a distance of 2. As you can see the segments are not yet solidified so I'm going to use the union command and put them, make them all one part and then we're going to move that to the center of the part on top of the cylinder and now using the subtract command we want to subtract from the cylinder the other parts that we had created and give it some shading to see what it looks like and also using the AutoCAD 3D rotate command we want to rotate this so we have a better view of what it looks like so I'm using the top as a base point I'll select the red ribbon and type 90 and shade the drawing once more and now we'll go back to the we'll solidify both viewports and make one viewport out of it and then zoom and uh, pan to see the top view Having finished the 2D and solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click on Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll use the M view command and select two diagonal intersections to create the viewports. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be sent to different scales. You can set the scale of the live viewport by selecting it, clicking the properties button. The standard scale is found under miscellaneous. That is where you set the scale for the viewport. In this case I chose 1 to 1. Once the scale is set you can double click inside the live viewport to gain access and pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible. To accomplish this it's sometimes necessary to move the solid. And you must always remember to double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports, which is where the viewports are located. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want more, you can search YouTube under MD Guide. Also, please comment on the video as I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.